Professor Hallux's Digital Dental Depository, with support from Philip Sonicare. <laughs> To honour great Uncle Halitosis, dentist extraordinaire, on the occasion of his 100th birthday, Professor Halux is creating a pop-up digital dental depository, an oral health help desk. He's going to see how many questions all about teeth he can answer against the clock. It's a super sweet set of sizzlers today, Nanobot. All about sugar. Wind it up and let it go. First question... How does sugar harm our teeth? It's not the sugar itself that causes damage to teeth. It's the acid the bacteria creates when it consumes the sugar. Sugar is a source of food and energy to bacteria, you see. And as they break it down, acids are produced. This acid breaks through the enamel on your teeth, creating tiny holes which can cause your teeth to be sensitive to both hot and cold temperatures. Over time, those tiny holes can get bigger and bigger until they form large holes, called cavities. And that's tooth decay. Good start. Oh, it's a true or false? In the UK, sugar has been causing harm to our teeth for thousands of years. True or false? I'm going to say false. It's false because we only started to import sugar in the Tudor period. That's from the late 1400s. Scientists know from studying the teeth in skeletons that before then people's teeth were actually pretty healthy. The first sugar and sugary delicacies were luxuries and only for the rich. Queen Elizabeth I was so fond of sugar it said her teeth were rotten and black. By the 1700s, sugar was available to everyone and that's when tooth decay became more common. Funnily enough, that's when dentistry also became more common with all those yucky, rotten teeth to pull out. Ew! So, if you can't resist sweet treats, what's the best way to prevent damage? Well, drinking water is a helpful way to wash the acids away. Your own spit or saliva contains minerals which can help repair damage to your teeth, so it's important to stay hydrated. The acid attacks from bacteria only last around 20 minutes, so it's better to eat sweet things over short periods, not over a long period of guzzling pop or munching on snacks. That way you're reducing the amount of time your teeth are under attack. And using a straw is a great way to stop a sweet drink coating your teeth. And don't forget to use a paper or reusable straw. Much better for the environment than single-use plastic. Coming up to the finish now. You should always clean your teeth as soon as you've had a sugary snack or drink. Is that true or false? It's actually false. When the acid is being produced, it can actually cause more harm if you brush your teeth straight away, as you might be helping the acid through the enamel. It's better to use a mouthwash and save your brushing for twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Using an electric toothbrush and flossing can help ensure you get into all the cracks. That's correct, and time's up! Brilliant, Professor. Very respectable score there and lots of data for our digital dental depository. <laughs> Professor Halix's Digital Dental Depository with support from Philip Sonicare. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash